Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and I am coming to you today with a very <laughs> hard hitting and important topic. Something that is near and dear to my heart. Without exaggeration, it kind of is a question that I pose often. When I was a resident advisor back in college, we had to do like icebreakers with our floor to like help them get to know each other. And some people would do like, what's your major? Like, what city are you from? My question was always, what is your favorite form of potato? Because I feel like it really gets deep into who someone is. Do you like a curly fry? Do you like a baked potato? Do you like a mashed potato? It gives you a glimpse as to who somebody really is. And this is carried on way past college. It's like my go-to first question on like a dating app. No wonder I'm single. So today I have seen a few YouTubers use this website where it's like a tier creating system where you can have a bunch of options, put them in a list and like decide what is like God tier, worst tier, somewhere in the middle. Today I'm gonna rank every form of potato. This is, whether you realize it or not, a very polarizing topic. A lot of people have very strong opinions on how their potatoes need to be prepared. So, I wanna know what is your favorite kind of potato, put it in the comments below, and then once I go through my definitive ranking of all the potatoes, you can tell me if you forgot something, if you need to change your ranking, I would like to know. This is important. 20 types of potatoes on the menu. Maybe we should start with the best and the worst, and then we can kind of go from there. Nothing is permanent, maybe I'll change some things, but first we have baked potato. I'm not crazy about a baked potato. <laughs> I'm not, what can I say? It's too like thick. You got the toppings all in one crevice and I would like them more dispersed. A lot of people like a little bit of sour cream on top. That will make it better. I don't know. It reminds me of my childhood going to Wendy's. Did you ever get a baked potato from Wendy's? Is that a thing that people still do? Anyway, baked potato. It's a little lazy. It's like, you took a potato, you wrapped it in tin foil, you did barely any work, and you want me to enjoy it. And for that reason, it is very far from the top. I don't know if it's at the bottom for me. So for now, I am going to put baked potato as a D. Sorry, baked potato, but bitch, you didn't really put in the effort. You really didn't do what I needed you to do. You read the assignment, you didn't deliver. Next up, cheesy potatoes. Cheesy potatoes. Cheese does go with potatoes, so they do have a point there. What does it look like? Oh, see, is that what that is? So it's kind of like diced up potatoes, and then you put cheese on top and you let it melt. And this is a dish unlike a baked potato, which just feels too dinnery. This honestly could be with breakfast. This could be with dinner. This could be a lot of things in between. It's got versatility. I think I'm gonna put them at a B. Yeah, that sounds really good. So the next type of potato is a complete departure from the hot potato world. We have potato chips. This is tough because you have a wide spectrum of potato chips. Like you have ruffles, which I would say are maybe A, B, C. And then you have those greasy, really thin, crispy, like breakable, like Lay's potato chips. Oh baby, those are E, F. So, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. These are not Lay's crumbly, greasy, gross potato chips. These are like delicious ruffles, crisp. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Potato chips go at B right now. Mind you, if they are greasy and gross and they don't have dip, I would easily put them in like ear F. I would rather just not have them. For our next type of potato, bitch, this might be controversial, but I don't even have to think about it. Curly fries from Arby's. Easy breezy, no contemplation. This is God tier, sorry. Curly fries from Arby's really are that bitch. Douse them in ketchup, dip them in a little bit of ranch. Honestly, any type of way, I think you'll be pleased. The next type of potato is a double stuffed potato. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I ventured into that land. It sounds fat, which sounds good. According to my research, a double stuffed potato is when you take a baked potato and you scoop out the like innards and you mash it and you can like prepare it in some type of way and then you put it back in. Bitch. In the way that a baked potato was zero effort whatsoever. This is like showing up, turning it out. You could really judge up the innards of that potato and have it be like a surprise. It could be flavored in different ways. Bacon bits, chives. I don't know what the fuck you want to do, but you could do it. You really could. So if done right, a double stuffed potato could be really fucking good. For now, I'm going to put a double stuffed potato at C. It's definitely going to be above a baked potato. So if I have to shift both of them down, they're going to stay in that order, but we'll see from there. Now, French fries. This is hard. This is difficult because you got Burger King french fries, you got Wendy's, you got McDonald's. It's clearly not an Arby's curly fry. We already went over this, but there's a lot of different types of french fries and they really do cover a lot of range. Like in and out fries couldn't be worse. And then there's Burger King fries, pretty good. So if I had to rank them, which I do, I'm gonna have to take the average of all french fries. Take all of their good and the bad and think about where they land in the middle. French fries as a form of potato, they're pretty good. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna give it an A. It's very close to perfect, but because of the bad french fries, it brings it down from God tier. Oh, okay, the next one is not your average potato. We got gnocchi. Y'all know what gnocchi is? I think it's kind of like a pasta almost form of potato. And I do enjoy a pasta. So gnocchi is definitely A or B for me. Like I imagine a delicious gnocchi from Olive Garden. Oh, bitch. And I feel like they have like unlimited gnocchi dish of some sort. Oh, yeah, that's better than a potato chip. That's better than cheesy potatoes. I think I'm gonna have to move some things down. <laughs> Sorry, but gnocchi just shifted everything. We're kind of finding where we stand. The next type of potato is a classic. I would not deny a hash brown. Hash browns to me, they're good. It depends on what. Is it like the pile of hash browns? Because that to me is a little bit like a mess. I just have to douse it with ketchup and then I'm like eating cereal, but the milk is ketchup and the cereal is hash browns. It's like a gross kind of, you know what I'm saying? But when the hash brown is like patty type of situation, like a McDonald's, that's pretty good. So where does that leave me? I guess I have to think about the average of both. And for that, it's definitely B or C. I'm gonna put it with gnocchi right now. I think it's pretty good. Better than a potato chip, so that's that. Now what the fuck is a Hasselback potato? I honestly don't know. Let me Google that. So they took the potato and they just sliced it. That's more effort than a baked potato, but somehow they found a way to make it worse. I'm gonna have to put it on F. I don't think I like it. I don't think it's for me. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll love it someday, but as I know the Hasselback potato right now, it's not the one. Loaded baked potato. Now I'm seeing that the baked potato that I gave an E to is not actually as good as I thought it was because I was thinking a loaded baked potato is its best form of baked potato. So loaded baked potato is at E. A regular unloaded baked potato? Bitch, that's worse than a loaded baked potato. That's an F. No. Okay, so we've shifted. Next up we have mashed potatoes. Now this might be controversial, but like, what's the point? It just fills me up. The only time I ever really have them is like Thanksgiving dinner and I would much rather focus on other things at the feast. And at its most basic, I would say a mashed potato really underwhelms. It's just kind of like goop. With all of that said, is it better than a baked potato? Yes. I'm gonna put it at E. A potato pancake. Well, do I want it? No. Would I eat it? I guess. I don't think it's good. There, I said it. Potato pancake, it's definitely in the lower half. Do I want it more than a baked potato? Yes. Do I want it more than mashed potatoes? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put it with double stuffed potato for now because I feel like don't people put like sour cream and applesauce and like you can have a whole bunch of good treats on it. I think that's kind of good. I'll leave it at D for now, but like it may shift down to be honest. Roasted potatoes. Now bitch, this is really when you're getting fancy. This feels like it's got spices that you can get them with steak. Honestly, it could go with your breakfast. Roasted potatoes are above most things. I would much rather have roasted potatoes than potato chips. Maybe it's either A or B. I'm gonna keep it at B for now, but it has a very high level likelihood to go up to A, I'm not gonna lie to you. Roasted potatoes, you're really giving the, your sisters a run for their money. Potato salad, like a side that I would definitely want, like at a picnic. Is it better than french fries? No, but is it better than hash browns? Maybe. I like when my potato salad has like a little Dijon kick, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit of spice. There is a restaurant in Los Angeles called Mendocino Farms and it's one of my favorites and one of my favorite things about it is they have like a process where you order and then you go up to the display of all their sides. And they're like, do you want any samples of any of our sides? And they have this like spicy Dijon potato salad. And every single time I go there, I always get the same thing. But as I come up to the register, I'm like, oh, can I just like try that? I mean, that sounds really good. Even though bitch, I've had it like 70 times, but it's really good. So potato salad, I'm judging you by your best form. I'm gonna have to put it at A. I love potato salad. Oh, loaded on my paper plate at a barbecue, bitch. I am all about it. Scalloped potatoes. What the fuck are you? <laughs> it doesn't seem like something I want. It feels like you're in a church basement. Some old woman has prepared it and brought it to the like potluck and it's kind of just been sitting there for a few hours. You put it on your plate because it kind of goes with like the other stuff. It's not the one. I don't think I want it. Is it better than a potato pancake? I guess, kind of. Oh, maybe it's a C. I'm gonna leave it at C for now because it's really giving me cheesy potato vibes just prepared differently. Next up, potato soup. Now, oh. If there's any form of potato I want, it's not potato soup. And if there's any form of soup that I want, it's not potato soup. So it's like a double negative. I'm sorry, but potato soup, girl, you're not the one. I think you might be F. I don't think you're it. Now I feel like my next ranking is gonna be controversial, but bitch, I'm about to say what I'm about to say and I'm about to mean it. Steak fries. 
They are the worst type of fry. Do you guys know about Red Robin? It's like a burger place. They have unlimited steak fries. And I think, okay, thanks. The worst possible option you could possibly give me is what you give me. If I were trying to get rid of steak fries, I would make them unlimited too because bitch, take them. I don't want them. Nobody needs them. As somebody who will almost always appreciate an unlimited buffet, I don't want unlimited steak fries. There, I said it. Steak fries, no. You're below a mashed potato for me. You're an F, sorry. Tater top. Tater tots are kind of similar to me. When they're good, they're good. But when they're anything less than good, they're not good. Okay, they're almost borderline bad. They're like mushy. But when they're good, they're good. Can't argue with that. Are they better than a potato chip? I would much rather have a tater tot than a potato chip. That's the tea. But a potato chip is more reliable than a tater tot. Potato chips keep, tater tots don't. I don't mean to yell, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel bad giving them a D because when they're good, they're good. But like when they're bad, they're terrible. Tater tots, sorry, you get a D. Okay, the next one is very very easy for me. A waffle fry is that girl. It is that bitch. I love everything about a waffle fry. It is so good that I think it might even go up to the god tier. It's up there with curly fries. I love a waffle fry. Yum. Delicious. And then finally, our last form of potato is a potato wedge. Potato wedge is a little similar to a steak fry for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like mushy on the inside. Doesn't give me what I want. <sighs> It's a better delivery of the potato than a steak fry, but it's still kind of shitty. Would I rather have a steak fry or a potato wedge? I think I would rather have a potato wedge. So for that reason, putting it at E, it's definitely worse than a tater tot, but better than a steak fry. So bam, there it is. Well, bitch, that is all of them. That is all the starch for today. I am finding that really, honestly, potatoes are one of the most <laughs> versatile and polarizing starches that I have ever come across. I feel pretty sure about my rankings. If you would make changes, you let me know. I would love to know what is your favorite type of potato because honestly, I wanna know you that much deeper. Also, if there are other things you need me to rank, let me know in the comments below. Okay, that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Another life-changing video. You're welcome. Have a good life. I will see you guys next time. Bye.